Hi everyone, in this video, I'll be walking you through three methods through which you can download videos streamed online, namely right click to download, download from the developer tools in Chrome, download through VLC player or YouTube DL with FFMPEG. If you're interested in this topic, please continue watching. Now today's video isn't going to be a script demo per se, I'm just going to show you the methods through which you can download the videos that are streamed online. Before we begin, please note that although these methods do work as of May 2021, the video streaming websites always try so hard to prevent users from downloading videos from their websites. So if you're watching this in future, or even as of now, these methods may not work on some websites. I'm going to use Google Chrome today, but the methods I'm going to show you will probably work on other web browsers as well. So the first method is to simply do a right click and I've got a sample page here where you can go right click on this video player and hit save video as in order to save it by clicking the save button and then the video is downloaded. Now life isn't always going to be this easy most of the time and most video players will have either disabled the right click or have a custom context menu brought up once you perform a right click on the player. So in which case you can use the second method which is to bring up the developer tools. If you click the three dot icon up here and then go to more tools and then hit the developer tools which you can also bring up by pressing the F12 key, you will be taken to this window where you will be clicking the network tab. Now the network tab is a tab that monitors all the activities that are done on your network on this page. So once you get to this stage you can press Control R or to, to hit this button to refresh the page and then play the media. Now when you play the media, you see that there is a media mp4 uh, file showing up here. Alternatively, you can go to the sub tab called media. If you're lucky, the video file is going to be there and if you double click into it, it will open up a new tab and you will see the video playing. Pause it and then go right click to save the video as, as you did before. Now. In most cases, you will not see the media file within the media tab, in which case you can go to the all sub tab and then look for that media file here. Now, usually the method that I do is sort by the size and then look at the topmost or the top files because usually the media files are the largest files. Now, um, you can also do this to download audio files as well. So taking this website as an example, this website has a podcast embedded in this page. So I'm just going to bring up my developer tools and then hit refresh and then play the podcast. All Thoughts is brought to you by Coinbase Institution. Right. Okay. So if I go to the media sub tab here, um, I'm going to see some files. So MP3 might be it. There's an MP4 as well. I think that might be an ad. Here we go. So that's an ad. Now MP3, if I download this, let's see what we get. Virtu CEO Doug Chief who explains payment for order flow in the future of Okay, HF. So this is not the right one that I'm after because I'm after this one, which is the podcast. Now this How might to build not be a portfolio that outperforms for a century. This is not the right one as well. So in this media a sub tab, I can't find this podcast. But if I go to the all sub tab and then sort by the size. Um here we go. There's an MP3 file that goes by the size of four point Three megabytes. All this thoughts is brought it. to you by Coinbase. So this is it. That aside, Virtue okay. is named for virtue, right? We try to be. So this is this is the podcast. If you do a right click on it, you can save this audio as a MP3 file, right? Now, when you're downloading videos, in most cases, it's not going to come in a single file format like that, and that's because most video streaming websites will use what's called an M3U8 file. What is an M3 UA file? It's basically a playlist file. It's a, um, it says audio playlist file, but it can be video as well. So what playlist file is it? It contains references to segments of videos such as M4S file. 
which are individual media segments of one complete file or it can also come in the form of TS. TS is also a video transport stream file so these are segment files um, that is going to show up in your network activity. So for example I've got this website where you have a video here so if I bring up the developer tool refresh and then hit the play button and I'll sort this by size if I go all the way up you'll see all these segment files now if I go to the media sub tab I don't get the segment files I, I don't know what these are let me just okay so these are no good now if I go back out to the all sub tab so you can see all these segment files being downloaded right so if I let me just pause this and then double click into one of these so it's downloaded it if I go to play this so it's a video segment of that bigger video. Um, this is only 10 seconds long. Let's see how big this video is. This is 1 minute and 48 seconds. So this is definitely a segment file which you can, you can, you know, double click all of this to download and then combine them, which is going to be a nightmare. Alternatively, you can look for the M3U8 file which is the playlist file for all these segments. Now, if you're lucky, you will be able to find a file in this uh, pane. But if you can't, then you can go Control F and perform a search for M3U8. Now, here, you're going to have all the search returns for the term M3U8. And what you want to look for is the URL that points to this M3 UA file. So this is going to be a manual search. You might have to try a few things. And I think in this case, it is, there we go, M3 U8 here. So this might be the URL for the M3 U8. So if I copy that, then paste it into a new tab, and it's downloaded a file, it says M3 U8, and this is the file. Now, if I open it up as a notepad, so this is how the file looks like and these are basically the pointers to the segment files that we have seen in the network tab. Now, to download this video as a whole, there are two methods. You can either use the VLC media player, which I'm going to show you in a second, or use the YouTube DL, which I have covered in my previous videos, with FFMPEG, which is a new thing that I'm going to show you today as well. So to use the VLC media player, you can go to the VLC media player and hit media and then open network streams, right? In here, you enter the network URL, which is the M3UA file URL. And then you click this drop down and go convert and make sure you select the MP4 here and then hit browse to save this into a folder of your choice and hit start. Now, my VLC media player went to the back but it started downloading and as you can see this blue bar is going to the right and when it hits the end it means it will have finished downloading so let me just give it a minute and wait the VLC media player is not my uh, first choice to download the playlist files because sometimes the VLC media players do stop in the middle and cuts out the downloading so it doesn't download the video as a whole. Now the next file that I'm going to show you which is FFMPEG which you can download from this website and I'm going to show you in a bit. Let me just wait until it downloads and show you the result and if you go to this website this website is where you can download FFMPEG. I'm going to put a link to the uh, to this website in the description and in on my website as well. So if you if you download this file, here we go. So that's a file. If I do a right click and then extract it. Double click 
and then there's going to be a folder called bin and this is what you want this file ffmpeg is the file that you want now the vlc media player has finished downloading it so let me go look for that video and play it to see whether it has downloaded correctly so let me just just move that down and then here we go so the video has downloaded successfully and it's also playing the audio so let me just skip through and it's 1 minute and 48 seconds which is in full okay so it looks like it's successfully downloaded in full okay so that's good so like i said sometimes vlc media player fails to download everything that i want now um let me go to where my YouTube DL file is saved. I'm not going to cover YouTube DL today because like I said, I've covered this before. And then I'm also going to use this script that I have uh, shown you before. So if you put FFMPEG executable file next to YouTube DL, you can start downloading uh, playlist files through command prompt or using this script that uses a command prompt, right? So let me go back and grab the URL copy and paste it into my GUI and then start downloading. It's going to bring up the command prompt and it's going to use YouTube DL passing my URL as an argument and through FFMPG it will have downloaded. Here we go. So the downloads folder has been created and if I open this up, now you notice how it was so much faster in downloading as well. So this is the video and the video is downloaded in full and so much faster than VLC Media Player. Alright, this is it for today's video. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video.